I did not script anything for this video, so we're just gonna roll with it and hope it turns out all right. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Danny, and welcome back to my channel. This was supposed to be a vlog, and I didn't vlog. At first, I kind of forgot about it for like three or four days, and then when I remembered, oh shoot, I was supposed to be vlogging, I kind of just didn't feel like it. And so I'm just gonna tell you how the last week of NaNo went and how Project Labyrinth is going. And the short answer is, it's not. <laughs> so my total NaNoWriMo word count was 36,100 words exactly, which is nothing to sneeze at. That's really good. I didn't win, but I still got some pretty dang good work done. I wrote every single day, even though the shortest day was only two words. It was Thanksgiving. I literally just wrote chapter whatever, and that counts as two words in the document, so it counts. And that's because, well, it was Thanksgiving, and I had to travel, and I just didn't have time to actually write. But I got the badge for writing every single day on a nano site, so... But, uh, yeah. I... I think, ooh, how far did I get? I have like four and a half chapters left to write of Project Labyrinth, and I will get to it. I just have been taking these past couple of days off. Today is December 3rd, and so it's been a couple of days since I wrote, and I just wanted to give myself a breather, and then I still want to finish this draft by the end of the year, and um, yeah, I think it's gonna end up being like it's definitely gonna hit 40,000 words, probably like 42k uh, by my estimate, I don't know. Um, yeah, it definitely went downhill in terms of nano, like I didn't hit the 50,000 obviously, and I was doing really well for the first week and then just kept getting less and less words each day, but in terms of writing, I think my quality has remained consistent throughout the draft, which is good. That's kind of why I didn't force myself to hit the 1667 every day. I didn't want to choose quantity over quality. And I'm happy with this draft. It is shorter than I thought it'd be. I, I really did think that it would be about 50k, but um, you know, sometimes that just happens. Project Labyrinth is still something very near and dear to my heart, and um, Little side note, I've been second guessing uh, Revelry, not my love for it because I still absolutely adore it, but it's validity as my debut because the, like, I don't want to call it a goal, but like, I thought maybe if I could swing it, I would make Revelry my debut sometime in the third quarter next year in 2022, but it is a mystery thriller kind of book and I'm just not gonna stick in that genre and I think I have like one other idea that's a mystery thriller and I don't want to write well I don't want to publish a mystery thriller and then only ever publish fantasy for the next however long and then like 10 years down the line put out another mystery thriller like that, that just feels weird to me so I think I'm not sure I, Project Labyrinth feels like a good debut for me, like it feels very much in my wheelhouse and more along the lines of my typical genre. And of course authors can cross genres, it happens all the time, I just don't feel right making my first book be something completely different from the majority of everything else I'm going to publish. I think if I want to cross genres it should happen after I've got a couple of my usual things under my belt. So yeah, I've got a lot of a lot of thinking to do about that kind of stuff, but I think that's all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to sit down and chat for a minute to update you guys about the end of NaNo and where I'm going from here. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel for more content, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!